You're all very welcome to our devotions this evening. So we begin now by praying the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five joyful mysteries of the Mosturi Rosary, the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary went to Zachariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third joyful mystery, the birth of our Lord. Now while Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her child. And she gave birth to a son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and she laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of our Lord in the temple. When the parents brought the child Jesus into the temple, Simeon took him into his arms and blessed God. Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. When they were on their way back, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They went back looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple, and Mary said, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, the banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, our most gracious advocate, the nice of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, we fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our prayers and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Lord, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. <clears throat> Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Mother of Christ. Mother of the Church. Mother of Mercy. Mother of Divine Grace. Mother of Hope. Mother Most Pure. Mother most chaste, mother unvalid, mother undefiled, mother most amiable, mother most admirable, 
Mother of Good Counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Saviour, Virgin Most Prudent, Virgin Most Venerable, Virgin Most Renowned, Virgin Most Powerful, Virgin Most Merciful, Virgin Most Faithful, Mirror of Justice, Seat of Wisdom, Cause of our Joy, Spiritual Vessel, Vessel of Honour, Singular Vessel of Devotion, Mystical Rose, Tower of David, Tower of Ivory, House of Gold, Ark of the Covenant, Gate of Heaven, Morning Star, Health of the Sick, Refuge of Sinners, Solace of Migrants, Comfort of the Afflicted, Help of Christians, Queen of Angels, Queen of Patriarchs, Queen of Prophets, Queen of Apostles, Queen of Martyrs, Queen of Confessors, Queen of Virgins, Queen of All Saints, Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, Queen Assumed into Heaven, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of the Family, Queen of Peace. Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Crown to beseech thee, that mounting upon these mysteries, the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. With the divine assistance, remain always with us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Prayer to Our Lady of Knock. Our Lady of Knock, Queen of Ireland, you give hope to your people in a time of distress and comforted them in sorrow. You have inspired countless pilgrims to pray with confidence to your divine Son, remembering his promise, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Help us to remember that we are all pilgrims on the road to heaven. Fill me with love and concern for my brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who live with me. Comfort me when I am sick, lonely or depressed. Teach me how to take part ever more reverently in the Holy Mass. Give me a greater love for Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for me now and at the hour of my death. Amen. Our Lady of Knock, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass will begin in a few moments' time. Please remind you to uh, make sure your, your mobile phones are switched off. Thank you.
Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defence, O Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You're all very welcome to a Mass here this evening, Knox Shrine. Also to all of you watching online, you're very welcome. And as we begin this Holy Week, we're reminded in this evening's Gospel um, about Mary, um, the great love she had for Jesus. So we begin now and ask the Lord our God for his pardon and mercy for those times we have failed to, to love God as we begin to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mischievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. So please be seated as we listen to the Word of God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice is established on earth. For the islands are awaiting his law. Thus says God the Lord, he who created the heavens and spread them out, who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it, who give breath to its people and life to the creatures that move in it. I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm. Your response is, The Lord is my light and my help. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Gospel acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Hail to you, our King. You alone have had compassion on our sins. 
Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them with her hair. The house was full of the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, Why wasn't this ointment used um, for the poor? And the, Jesus said to him, Leave her alone. She had to keep this scent for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. This evening's Gospel, we see the immensity of Mary's love for Jesus. And Mary bought this very costly ointment worth 300 denarii. And that was a lot of money in those days. And in that love, Mary wanted Jesus to see how much she loved him. And of course, no matter what good we do, no matter the best we can do, there's always someone who can criticize it. And this was Judas in this instance, Judas who objected to this great act, saying the money should have been given to the poor. And of course, the poor was the furthest from Judas's mind. Judas simply wanted to keep the money for himself. And there's a very great lesson in, in that for all of us. Very often we can be criticized for the things we do. And especially when it comes to our faith, people can criticize us and try to pinpoint where we're going wrong. And maybe out of jealousy, maybe because we challenge them, or maybe because they can't stand us being good. And what do we do? And the Stephen's Gospel shows us that we can never love Jesus enough. No matter how much we pray, no matter how much time we give or money, we can never love Jesus enough. And Jesus didn't criticize Mary for the immensity of this love she was pouring on him. Not only did she anoint his feet with this very costly ointment, but she also wiped his feet with her own hair. She didn't reach for a towel. She wiped with her own hair. And again, it shows us this love. And Jesus rebukes Judas and tells him to leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor, but you will not always have me. 
So what is it Jesus means by this? And it was the very fact that Jesus, I suppose, knew that Mary needed to do this. The very fact that Mary needed to worship him and make him the centre of her life. And we need to humble ourselves before Jesus as well, uh, not because he needs to be treated like this, but because we need to treat Jesus like this. We need to love Jesus in this way. And honouring Jesus in our humility and love is what we need to do for our own holiness and happiness. And Jesus knew this, and he honoured Mary for this very great act of love. So this evening's gospel invites us to do the same. It invites us to look to Jesus and to make him the centre of our adoration and love. Jesus invites us willingly to pour out all of our labour for him. And this perfume was uh, symbolised in the, the richness of Mary's love. Reckoned it, it was worth 300 days' wages, nearly a year's wages, this very costly ointment. So nothing is too costly for Jesus. Nothing is worth more than an act of our worship. So worship of God is the right thing to do. Most importantly, it's an act that will transform us into the persons where God has made us in his own image. It will help us to see the need for others as well. Once we love God, God will love us more and direct us and guide us to love others, to be humble. So we were all made for worship and adoration of God. And this can only be accomplished when we humbly honour our Lord with our whole self. So let's reflect tonight upon the depth of our own adoration of our Lord. Are you willing to spend time, money, and effort, your, own life, your whole livelihood upon him? Is he worth more to you than 300 days' wages? Is he the most central part of your life? Do you daily humble yourself before him and pour out your heart to him in prayer? Let's reflect upon this humble act of worship of Mary, who offers Jesus and seeks to imitate him in perfect example. Lord, may I follow the example of Mary in this evening's gospel. Help me to humble myself before you and honour you with my whole life. Dear Lord, nothing in life is more important or of value than you. And my total adoration of you, draw me in, dear Lord, humble myself before your glory, and help me to love and worship you with my whole being. Amen. So we now stand as we bring our prayers before God our Heavenly Father. And this evening's gospel reminds us of the great love Mary had. So we pray this evening that the church will continue to pour out her love for Jesus and for all. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace in our world, especially in the Middle East, Russia, Ukraine, many other areas torn apart by war and violence, that it, hatred will be turned to love. Lord, hear us. We continue to pray for all who will come to our shrine here over the coming days as we enter uh, the Easter Tridium. We pray that their prayers 
and thanksgiving will be met with the love that Jesus has for them. Lord, hear us. Pray for the sanctity of life. God alone is the Lord of life from its beginning until its end. We pray especially for the unborn. Lord, hear us. We pray for God's healing tonight, those areas of our life where we need healing. So let us now pause for a moment to bring before the Lord those, uh, those areas where we need healing. Lord, send your healing upon all of us here tonight. Lord, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we have come to adore you this evening. May we always, everywhere we are, adore you, in word and in deed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of a saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant. 
he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself through the blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more, giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race, the kindly, most compassionate Father, and those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints, in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and all our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Only set the word, my soul shall be. Please have one um, minister, please, to help out with communion. <clears throat> Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If those suffering from celiac condition, the body of Christ is also available.
Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray. And with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. We end Mass this evening by singing Hail Queen of Heaven. Hail Queen of Heaven. Hail Queen of Heaven.